In the evening, it was time for Rohan to play. Ma, it's evening. Shall I go play with my friends? Yes, carefully and play with everyone. Rohan met all his friends and was very keen to tell them how he spent time at the shop with his father and learned something new. How are you all? We are good. How are you? I am fine too. Do you know I went to the shop with dad yesterday and I enjoyed it a lot. I saw a lot of things in the marketplace. All friends became very excited by listening to Rohan. Tell us what you did there. Yesterday two monkeys came and scattered all the utensils at the shop. And then dad and I together set up the shop properly. There are many different utensils in my father's shop. Some are made up of clay, some of iron, some of steel and some made up of glass. I have learned to categorize different things. Hey, we also keep utensils in our kitchen like this. In my kitchen, there is different place for utensils made from different substances. Rohan got into thinking. Priya's elder sister Sarita was standing nearby listening to all this. Sarita is 4 years older than Priya and a student of class 10. Children, tell me, can I help you with your problem? Yes, yes sister. sister. Then tell me, what comes to your mind by seeing this stone lying on the ground? It is white in color. It is very hard and edgy. It can cause injury. When the rain comes and I throw it in the chilled water, it sinks and sits down. Hmm. Now tell me what is this? Hey, hey this, this is, is a chalk. chalk and the teacher in the school also uses chalk to write on the board. So, now tell me what does it look like? It's white in color. It's hard. And what will happen when we put it into water? Come on, let's see now. All keep quiet and start thinking. Everyone filled water in a transparent box and put the chalk and stone into it. Can you tell me what would happen to chalk and stone? Hey, both of these got sunk in the water. After a while, everyone saw that the chalk started dissolving in water. Look, Didi, the chalk has started dissolving in water, but the stone did not dissolve. I think there are some things in chalk and stone that are similar, but there are some things which are not the same. Rohan, absolutely. Every substance has its own properties, and on the basis of them, we classify or categorize them. So it is not necessary that every time a substance falls into the same class or a group. Absolutely right. According to similarities and differences in properties of substances, they can be grouped or classified. The utensils in my kitchen are grouped on the basis of their utility, unlike Rohan's shop where they are grouped on the basis of the materials that the utensils are made of. I want to know more about the properties of substances. You can surely understand more by observing things around you. Now tell us, what have you learned about the qualities of stone and chalk? Both stone and chalk are white in color and hard. Chalk can dissolve in water, but stone cannot dissolve. Both can be drowned in the water. So, is there anything that will float in water? Oh yes, my paper boat. Hey wow Priya your friends are very smart Thank you Sarita didi for letting us know that hardness solubility and sinking or floating in water are among the various properties of substances Perfectly said Rohan and Raju Similarly substances have many other properties too we can learn about many things by exploring them I will go home today and try to learn all this by collecting various things. So the sun started to set in and everyone started moving happily to their homes.